Herzlichen guten Morgen. Good morning. Meine Kollegin Sabine Gehm und ich, Katharina von Wilke. Good morning, Sabine Gehm, my colleague and myself, Katharina von Wilke are the directors of the Congress, and I'm very happy to welcome you. This is the fourth edition of the Dance Congress in Hanover. In view of the many crises and wars, the world seems to fall apart. Nobody seems to know what this will mean for us eventually. And the developments we are experiencing are disturbing. But we know that there is suffering which is closely connected to the events we experience. And the Indian um, scholar Nikita Davan has correctly said that maybe we see the same storm coming, but we don't share the same boat. In view of these ruptures, we ask how to situate a dance congress, what's the claim of such a congress? It's meant to be an industry meeting. It's meant to serve the purpose of exchange. But maybe it's also about questioning the status of dance as such and its roles and missions and possibilities in society and politics. Contemporaneity is the concept, and this seems to be the adequate tool or the glasses we could use in order to look at the current situation. There are two elements in the German language which are combined here, the time and collectivity of being together. We ask what the concept of contemporaneity means, which came up in the 1960s and has always referred to different genres fields of art and a number of aesthetical phenomena. Contemporaneity means that we share the same time and we also use the concept to describe a shared history, a challenge or the responsibility that consists in meeting the challenges of the time. However, what's the perspective we adopt? How do we use the concept? Why do we use it? What time are we referring to? What is the collective we are talking about? We made a call for proposal, and we received 220 very different answers by dance makers and experts from many different fields of art and knowledge. We've chosen 30 contributions which form the core of this year's program, and we would like to thank all participants for making proposals and also for having helped us prepare the dialogues, workshops, lectures, performances, presentations, interventions, installations, discussions, radio broadcasts, and experiments we are looking forward to. The Congress program includes about 70 events and 200 speakers, and we have intentionally decided to not structure it according to themes. We rather opted for an open network-like structure in order to really establish links between the individual events and the knowledge produced there without a hierarchical order. Boris Shamatz calls it the establishment of shared horizontal spaces in which artists and participants try to reflect collectively what the now is. He says, if we follow each other, maybe the way how we consider, look at, touch, and think contemporaneity changes. But in order to have it happen, we need to open a space the opening yesterday had the title Common Choreographies, and that's, so to speak, the beginning of the movement of the days to come. And the days to come are dedicated to the establishment of the shared in mutual conversations or exchanges, as Margarita Tsomu says. The contemporaneity becomes a permanent making of the contemporary. So far, we haven't had an opportunity to thank all those who have helped us 
make the Dance Congress 2016 possible. We have a number of cooperation partners here in Hanover, and we have a great team. Without them, one uh, such a wonderful Congress could not happen at all. So we would like to thank the State Opera of Hanover. Without the initiative of the ballet that agreed to be the candidate for uh, this Congress, I to have Hanover be the venue, we wouldn't be here. I would like to thank Jörg Mannes and Steve Markusfeld. I would like to thank Michelle Klugel, Thomas Brasch, and all members of the team and the voluntary volunteers of the opera and of the theatre. You are fantastic hosts. And we'd also like to thank the city of Hanover. In particular, we would like to thank the cultural department led by Harald Herke, the former senator for culture, Marlis Dravermann, Benedikt Penskens, Veronika altarudmeier beck and Christian Winter. And we would like the Ministry for Research and Culture of the Land of Lower Saxony, who has sponsored the opening event, the Künstlerhaus, the Art Museum and the Niedersachsen Foundation for having made their rooms available to us. The Dance Congress is being accompanied by a diverse public dance and performance program, which was possible thanks to the close cooperation with the Opera and the city and other partners, the international performances antes of the Compagnie alias and Tenia Le Ton by Rashid Ramdan, uh, major pieces which um, implement the dynamics of the establishment of community in a choreographic way and thus refer to the topic of the conference. Now, there is much more to see thanks to the dedication of other institutions, Commedia Futura, Kinder Theaterhaus, and Felix Landra and Company are uh, to be mentioned. And by the way, you can still buy tickets at the box office. And of course, I would like to also invite you to the wonderful program update, Neues von Deutschen Tanzbühnen, on Sunday evening. We've been very happy to know that the Kunstverein Hanover also agreed to focus on contemporaneity as a topic and discusses the question how we represent ourselves to the other and the world outside. There is an exhibition, Körper und Bühnen, and I would like to thank Kathleen Rahn and the participating artists for this exhibition. Now, we would like to thank for your trust, because this is the first time we have established, have prepared the Dance Congress. And I would like to thank Hortensia Völkers of the Federal Cultural Foundation and Antonia Lamy and all the members of the team of the foundation who have prepared the Congress with us for three years. And we would like to thank our team, Sandra Nerd, the uh, scientific collaborators and curators of the Border Effects Program. And I would like to thank Bettina Wagner Bergel, Katrin Deufert, Bettina Masuk, Ingo Diel, Nick Hafner, Jörg Mannes, and Steve Markusfeld, the members of our supervisory board. Thank you for your critical feedback. And in particular, we would like to thank our team, Harriet Lesch, who's the organizer of the conference, who is taking care of the whole, so to speak. She is like a musical conductor. So thank you, Harriet. And she was supported by Tanya Engel and Paula Eichmann, our dream team. Thank you to both of you and would like to thank Teresa Book for uh, being the coordinator on the spot. We would like to thank Talia Shuri. He has taken care of our PR and communication activities. And we would like to thank Pierre Becker and Tatrung, his agency, in particular with respect to the gender star. You are, so to speak, the secret stars of the contemporaries. 
And we would like to thank Anja Lütgens for the wonderful design of the Congress Center and the signing system. You will see it later when you uh, walk over to the Congress Center. Heike Diem and the Bureau K3, thank you for your work and for your mobilization of the local, national, and international press and for the realization of the video news, which you can see on the Dance Congress website as of today. And we would like to thank those who make it possible that the technical equipment work and Frank Harman and Willy Brune are the technical coordinators. We would like to thank you. We would like to thank for it, and we would like to thank the technical directors of the Niedersächsische Staatstheater and their teams. Now, understanding is also about language, and we would like to thank Liliana Sturgeza and Jana Zweirod for being our translators today. Now, that's all in terms of uh, gratitudes and words of thank you. We hope that movement is not only going to be the motto, it's something we will all fear. I hope you will enjoy an inspiring exchange and enriching debates and wonderful experiences in Hanover. And we are now looking forward to Krasimira Kroshkova, the curator and a theoretician from Vienna. How did we come together the title of a presentation? And she will focus on community and contemporaneity. She is the director of the Theory and Media Center of the Dance Quarter of Vienna. She teaches at the University of Applied Arts and the Academy of um, Visual Arts in Vienna. She was a um, visiting professor at FU Berlin and the University of Vienna, where she wrote her doctor's thesis and became a professor. And she's published lots of books, and we are looking forward to her presentation now. Krasimira, the floor is yours. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much for this great and surprising invitation. A little story by way of an introduction. In the Tanzquartier in Vienna on 7th of October 2010, a spectator asked the performers on stage, how did you come together? By train was the laconic answer. This was a uh, what Christine Desmet answered with a disarming smile. This question from the audience uh, was raised during the brief discussion with the audience, which uh, is the beginning of Xavier Leroy's uh, choreography, Low Pieces. How did you come together? By train. As if uh, there were only a togetherness, if no reason, can be taken for granted for this. A mode of belonging and of testimony which does not pre-require a given group, no plural, which rather deals with unconvertibility of a togetherness if this we has always been a situative temporary construct. So as to think um, the togetherness of the different in artistic working processes and, of course, welcome the other without conditions. In the precise fuzziness of parallel worlds in which we belong together in such a strange way, without the gaps, the crevices, the cracks, without ignoring these crevices and cracks, mind the gap. 
how to live together in this fragmented world in terms of space, but also time, as people in a contemporaneity who however enjoy another time and uh, always test a mindset of un the untimely. How to bring forth time, contemporary witness, how do we tick together? Can our singular biological clock tick as a metronome of a community, communitas, communita, communauté, tick as a coming together? How did you come together? By train. Laconic, which uh, gives reasons for the undecidability between the concrete and the abstract, the literal and the figurative. Just casually, this unfathomableness of tension characterizes literally and figuratively a choreography by Corus Schematz, Levé des Conflits, the suspension of conflicts. A choreography of 2010 comprising 25 uh, sequences of movement, which is interpreted by 24 dancers throughout the entire play. It is structured like a canon, and the movement that is currently uh, missing, so 24 dancers, this movement uh, triggers or drives the perpetuum mobile of bodies. So um, uh, what is activated is the missing. Here, an algorithmically uh, belonging uh, body coming together is reorganized, another we. Collisions and constellations are lacking, whilst the plural dance body is formulating itself afresh again and again. Kar Matz was inspired for this work, or was inspired for this productive chaos, as I can put it. And this is an important uh, term in our context. So Charmat was inspired by Ronald Bard's term of the neuter. The neuter is what I call, which overrules the paradigm is was what Roland Barthes says. So as a third one, the neuter subverts a binary structure which is inherent to the paradigm that is the conflict and thus dogmat uh, eludes dogmatic or hierarchical representations. The neuter is thus ambivalent but definitely not neutral. But do we come together like this? Comment? Does this not trigger this uh, definitely not neutral neuter, the binary which overrules paradigms? Does it uh, trigger the political in contemporary dance? Is the political to be thought as a suspending of its own law? Uh, or of divert diverting from doxa, that is turning towards the paradox. This is also us, is what Akadi Sardis says about his choreography called Archive 2013, a research of the conflict between Israel and Palestine, which uses footage of Betzalem, the uh, information center for human rights in the occupied territories. The footage was made by um, Palestinians in conflict zones, and the uh, videos show people from Israel in various confrontative situations. The people who take the film, who shoot the film, remain behind the camera. However, their movements, voices, standpoints are present, and the perspective determines the uh, view. Arkady Sadis thus involves his own body in a critical way in the movement material of his Israeli community by isolating and performing gestures, voices, and movement sequences of soldiers and settlers whom we see as a film projection. He sees this as an isolated choreographic material, as kind of a reenactment. 
he separates them. So this is a material which also reminds us of the context, but also tests once, twice, again, again. By performing his inconceivability and thus also his unrepresentability by um, editing together a voice sound material and by differentiating lines of vision and viewpoints and testing them again and again so as to develop an invisible a lively archive from the Palestinian point of view an archive which focuses on the issue of uh, the violence control and guilt potential of communities it is also the guilt of looking away. I'm guilty of looking away. What was the statement uh, of an escalating recitative uh, by Davis Freeman in Meg Stewart's alibi, or I'm guilty of being an American. Premiere of the play on uh, the 17th of November 2001, that is just after 9-11, the rehearsal, however, took place already in summer 2001. Are we, just to mention a few more contemporary titles, are we only visitors, visitors only, according to Mick Stewart in 2003, and then again altogether new, now 2008, Stewart again, and this until our hearts stop, according to Stewart's most recent group play, 2015, which tries an enormously physical togetherness in a mysterious verve, a puzzled restlessness, tough tenderness and procrastinate magic. It tries to uh, contaminate and comment this in a sensuous humour uh, uh, where errors and lapses contaminate. Humour is something totally aggressive is what one of the performers says here, or in the past I usually went to holidays to the Mediterranean, now I can no longer swim in the Mediterranean, unquote, or else, quote, we pass all our limits, unquote, and they do it literally as well, in a, an extremeless funny and a scenic obscenity which sometimes seems to go too far although intimacy and integrity can never go far enough. Several uh, peers, just an example, several peers uh, turn dizzily, uh, respectively having the fist of the opposite in their mouths. The fist in the foreign mouth keeps the rotating pair together. Anyhow, the dancers are to be seen in all kinds of constellations in Ménage à Trois, Foursome, five of them, six, seven, uh, they get very close to one another before they hastily avoid one another and move away from their movements. But where are our paths today, our gateways, our access to movement? Where are, according to Carla's most recent choreography, where are our gateways to movement? Do we live in a, a nobody time, according to Doiford and Plischke? Both plays were uh, made in 2015 after, in 2014, Jeff de van Dinter's time analysis as it empties out. And after the year 2020, when Clemens laid set things that surround us, and Mitte Ingwertsen was looking for an artificial nature project. That is a non-human choreography of things as part of our being with, speculative instead of spectacular. Maybe because the contemporary body of dance, a body not fit for purpose, because this body of dance is a body not fit for purpose. This is the title of an explicitly political work by Jonathan Burris and Matteo Fargen of 2014. This was a work about the, uh, the people being afraid of uh, refugees, about Silvio Berlusconi, etc. A work which starts with the inadequacy of gestures, of intentions, of reasons, and 
simultaneously addresses the inherent radicality of this attempt. So once again, this groundlessness, and this again in an abysmal, unfathomable humor, which definitely is part and parcel of the seriousness of contemporary dance. And I'm going to talk about this again and again. And as this, the body not fit for purpose couldn't do anything without it. It would be good for nothing. And exactly, and this is the title of a choreography of uh, by Philip Gemacher, Good Enough. Because rarely less is empty. Good Enough uh, was made in the same year as Max Stewart's Alibi. Alibi means absence, a proof of absence. We move in the rhythm of contemporary, hence in its token of intermobility, in the token of intermobility of its own project. No numerous clauses for those uh, coming. Uh, this is what you could say by quoting Jack Derrida's Politics of Friendship. And this interminability, which excludes nothing and nobody, is something for a zeitgeist, or rather, uh, uh, is violent for our time ghosts. On the choreography of uh, Friendship could have been my title. It characterizes what a friendship could mean. And this goes beyond contemporaneity in times and spaces. But this is what happens with titles. First, they need to be um, announced many months before the event. And then they come to us subsequently, just like contemporaneity, which becomes established only gradually and subsequently just like in Heinrich von Kleist's gradual production of thoughts while speaking. So the contemporary will always be the future perfect. It will have taken place in the future perfect, always. Simultaneously and as a reminder to that what was not, and as a research, an opening towards something uncertain. Because it is exactly when we research then we actually do not know what we do, which, by the way, uh, means that the contemporary would be an artistic research. This is a word constellation which uh, very often characterizes a contemporary dance, just like uh, René Magritte's pipe, which you can't take into your mouth um, unless you take it into your mouth as a word. Is the friend the same one or the other one? This is one of the vital questions in Derrida's politics of friendship. And is the contemporary the same one or another one? It is thus about a thinking of being with beyond brotherhood. And here in democracy as a place where everybody is able to be different in the same way. Let us ask how a politics of such a beyond of the principle of brotherhood could look like is what Derrida asked us. This politics can be short-circuited with the economy of collaboration, the elective affinity and the complicity. Contemporary dance and performance are decisively exposed to this in where, where, where the cohesion is often figured by its exposure as if we were together, especially because we are lacking a cohesion. Just like loose rocks, which somehow uh, bring together a vault which otherwise would collapse. So it is important to distribute and foil collaborative a working process in advance in this affirmative society because the inconvertibility of society or community is its, ins its constitutive moment. So it is about communities of those who above all worry about extraneousness, uh, that is those who do not belong to any communities. It is also about uh, an exercise in 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 unconfessable uncons communities, this is a uh, wording by Maurice Blanchot, or in 
becoming uh, communities, according to Giorgio Agamben, uh, by constituting and uh, uh, devising temporary co-structures in its being with plural singularities. And uh, this um, is um, about a purity. It is about a contingence of cohesion, cohesion and its instable resistance about the attitude, I would prefer not to, which overrules each arbitrariness, which rather does not co-act, especially so as to be with, especially uh, in crises and during criticism, that is the uh, capacity to differentiate and the ability to discriminate which requires decisions, resolutions, and conclusiveness and reactions, which then is clearly political. We can select between uh, dis choice and decision. We can differentiate between the two. And uh, a friend does that and says, You can choose between white wine and red wine, that is, between actualities. But if you take a decision, then you decide only for the non-given option. But how much non-given and unproductive, untimely, that is, not an anachronism, but something decisively different, how much of this uh, um, can contemporary dance deal with? How many of these positions can contemporary dance deal with and require? The time is my only contemporary, um, is what Millie Bitterly said recently. Uh, this is a quote uh, by the choreography Tausendfüßler, Millie P, 2016, and thus recalls of Nietzsche, the thinker of the untimely and of the idleness with his blind lobster, which, quote, continuously feels for all sides and occasionally catches something. It feels for uh, things, however, not so as to catch something, but because its limbs need to splash around, unquote. If limbs purposely, purposeless, sorry, uh, move uh, and jump, uh, then they dance. This is a uh, longing, and the dance is longing for the emission, the seam of the body, which overturns it and shortens it, uh, longing for an overthrow of time instead of a closed time economy, instead of a metaphysical speculation for a well-timed restitution, symmetry, gift for gift and redemption of a value, a presence may, uh, from the point of view of the work and the value, a bustling, a working in the paradox regarding the differentiation instead of the binary, rather a turmoil, a non-action, not being with a paradox economy uh, of our capacity to act, which can topple time and order. And I refer to this again and again. And it is via uh, or about a possible artistic togetherness as a group on stage. Also, it is also about our being with off stage, always in an uncertainty relation. The momentum of the with cannot be determined. It is always a coming. Communities to come are temporary, eerie alliances or outrageous families, according to Michel Foucault. So again, away from fraternization, away from the family towards a scary elective affinity, and once again towards the binding groundlessness of movement between friends. Michel Foucault says about the friends, the friends standing opposite one another without weapons and without fitting words, without something that could confirm to them the sense of the movement which uh, makes them get closer to one another." Unquote. How did you come together? 
by train, said uh, Christine de Schmidt with a disarming smile. A coming together without confirmation and without weapons, without guarantee and without arms. Kind of a paradox déjà vu of what will never have been but could have been a paradoxical time generation and witness which can only convince in a conjunctive. Enduring in a conjunctive, also according to Laurie Jetant's Tanzstück 4, Leben wollen zusammen, uh, of 2010, where text uh, and movement mark options, that is, non-given options. And here there would be a bridge, and here there would be a house, and here there would be a little river. So the performers uh, refer to possible places on stage. That is to cross this imaginary river. The five dancers cross this river one by one over an imaginary bridge so as to uh, come together. And here we would be together, says the dancer Mathieu Bono. When they all individually reach the embankment, in their mutual doubting, dubious, delayed, hesitating, embarrassment and distortion. Lines of distortion, the fault lines. This is the title of a choreography of the year 2010. So as to talk about the first year as kind of a stepping stone of this, of course, inadequate parcours especially in this simultaneity of the asynchronous. So it is about a choreography, again, of our mutual fault zones. In the subdued unrest of the commencement by Philip Gemachers, Max Stewart, and Vladimir Miller's fault lines, this is a performative installation, an installative performance. In there, something is anticipated and at the same time taken back. Some, something that will have been, something will have happened between the bodies on the trembling levels, in between tectonic cracks and enraptured uh, movements at the fringes of violence, eager and at the same time casual, self-forgotten and detached and at the same time ecstatic. Amnesty of gestures, contingents of touch. The peephole projection with which the video artist Vladimir Miller spies on the two dancing bodies' life on stage. He scans them, changes the life distance and positioning of bodies. This increases the awareness for the invisible distances within the life touch for the difference zones, for the border zones, for this not neutral and excessive refinement as a focusing, I'd say, without a photograph or as a peephole of the memory, which means it is focused differently, bodies and images which touch their limit, which are this limit, gestures which at the same time are too big and too small, that small as if they were not there, and that big that they crack, especially at the lines of distortion, uh, these subterranean cracks in deep rock formations, as, uh, which, as it is said, are responsible for our aggressions and depressions, for our severe and tender distances, where we remain in despair unstably and restrained in all our opposed inconsistence. As lines of distortion between several bodies inherent to them, the law of touching is separation. And what is more, it is the heterogeneity of surfaces that touch one another. So it is the actual strength of a body which consists in uh, touching its own body or others. This is also the definition as a body. This is the definition uh, of Jean-Luc Nancyon, who defines and definalizes the body in his book Singular Plural Sein, being singular in a plural. Again, a body not fit for purpose. More than one. Contemporary choreography thus touches 
without homogenizing sentimentally the surfaces, without a metaphysics of interiority in all its contingents of a contact which occurs, which is bestowed only in separation, only in the non-intact of tactile experience, which um, does not regard unharmed subjects, which does not take for granted directness, which always opens and closed, closes aesthetically, ethically, politically the being with in the inverted commas opens the inverted commas and closes them. Just like you open eyes, how you close or form friendships. No silence in between, no radio silence in between. Uh, this is what a friend said about uh, the uh, correspondence between dance and text. Contemporary choreography is a kind of echography of our time, and it is also kind of Chinese whispers, um, just like the principle of a much promising format um, here uh, in the Tanz Congress and the Dance Congress on Sunday. And I've managed uh, half of my presentation, promise. So choreographic games uh, of 2013 by Rémi Héritier and Laurent Pichot this re, uh, does a research verbally and dance-like about the echoes of dance history. How do they do this? Héritier and uh, Pouchot invite um, experts, dancers, and theoretical experts in various cities. And these people are on stage. They are to um, guess the authorship of dance and text observes and thus anticipate the contemporaneity of dominant dance narratives and recognizable patterns. Contemporary here means kind of a, a tool of analysis which triggers processes of remembrance and which defines it. The temporary symmetries which are dedicated to the problem of witness are always confused by moments of hesitation so much, so little on embarrassment. This confirmation of a restitution in the concept of the contemporary, in witnesses attesting, referring, withdrawing, defense and embrace gestures are folded into one another. Because how much limit can an embrace deal with? Can an embrace go all out? And how much distortion and fault lines or distortion lines can it deal with going beyond times and spaces? And how much does it require as a withdrawal from the togetherness and also out of consideration for it? So it's if uh, contemporary dance is tested as a figure of being with. So maybe it is not a rhythmical synchronous togetherness as a community utopia, as in the early modern dance. It is rather an idiorhythmical uh, one. And a togetherness, ac according to Roland Barthes' a book, Comment vivre ensemble. Roland Barthes is the thinker of the neuter, you remember that? And he's interested in the idiorhythmy as an occasional synchronization of rhythms of action, which rhythms, however, remain divergent. So what does it mean today to move in a synchronous manner, to uh, exercise a movement together and not to celebrate virtuosity by it? What is interesting is the simultaneity of the asynchronous here again, just like in a simultaneous interpretation, something is always being shifted somehow. Laurent Chetouane said in an interview, quote, it is about how to encounter one another, how to go together for a while and then separate with a pathos of togetherness. How can you operate politically with it? Isn't the friend the best enemy, unquote? So the artist explicitly starts with Derrida's politics of friendship and this refers to the question of how much uh, discursive outcome choreography can deal with. This must not be lacking. Finally, it is very concrete, said the choreographer. Just like a war, it is about borders. Where does a war take place? First of all, at the borders. 
at the line between two fronts, between two countries, between enemies. It's about shifting of borders. But what about between friends? Does the border disappear? The border which goes through the body and through space, the uh, line of the violin bow is the border which is being created, is what the artist said. And he asked, how could this uh, living together, this democratic thing be organized without operating from a perspective of conflict? Let us think again. Uh, of Roland Barthes' uh, um, paradigm or of uh, Boris Chamart's uh, Levé des Conflits, as if choreography were kind of Chinese whispers or shifted correspondence, which does not come off in an action of interpretation, just like potentiality cannot, con- cannot come off in topicality. Some friends of mine call it potentiality, is what a clown says in Bloody Mess by Forced Entertainment, a performance of repeated sound checks, as if contemporaneity were only a sound check. One, two, one, two, two things waiting to happen is what the clown calls the potentiality. Things waiting to happen kind of a homophone short circuit about causality and linearity. So as to uh, give up each two as a problem, as a process, how did you come together? This coming together beyond causality is rather to be seen as uh, enumerating, juxtaposing a list of lists of uh, that uh, makes commonplaces fall to pieces instead of confirming mutual availability. So uh, today we often have lists, uh, enumerations, hierarchy, less juxtaposition and alphabetization of uh, performative material, which avoids the hierarchy of terminology, which names nameless differences and short circuits parallel levels of articulations. So the title of um, a 12-hour work by Peter Stammer and Yossi Vono in alphabetic order uh, is the Circus of Life from A to Z of the year 2015. In the program uh, of the 24-hour performance, Who Can Sing a Song to Unfrighten Me, you can uh, uh, see the list of Tim Etchell, dogs, alphabets, panda bears, cases of death, fairy tales, horror stories, dances, and jokes. It is about a thinking rhythm of the heterogeneous, which uh, always disarticulates uh, threatening fixations during articulation, and which is conclusive in itself. It is only by avoiding conclusions and remaining in the paradox that this is possible. As a constant um, position of the depositioning in a rhythm which uh, produces ladders in uh, the performance, stitches, humors, tricks, the ruses, the ruses uh, sharpen at being in the time, they be little nothing if they work with the own groundlessness and with the own uh, grounds and abysses, with the non-convergence of motive, how to do come together by plane. This is the lust and ruse of the different whom we are all obligated to because, um, and this is the rage of Jean Baudrillard against the incestuous thinking of the all too smooth frater, uh, um, nation, who lives of the same will die of the same. So in a laughing dance, the differences are never uh, lost. You never lose sight of them, uh, although you might go insane. However, it's not understanding, but releasing from understanding as a proof of love, as a f- proof of friend. This is uh, what a friend said. Releasing from understanding as a proof of friendship. Is the friend the same one or another one? Is the contemporary the same one or another one? Instead of co-understanding, it is rather um, discussing this. For example, the co-laughing of the audience, which singular vibrations shock the automatisms of the community and identity thinking by uh, always disclosing new dis- asymmetries. So Tim Mitchell's instru- uh, 
instructs uh, its performers, separate the audience, make it become a problem, destroy the comfort and the anonymity of darkness, let the spectators feel the differences that are in the room, that class, gender, age, power, culture, give them uh, the audience of laughing alone by themselves, the feeling of a body which laughs publicly and then uh, being embarrassed withdraws the laughter, a ruse the dependencies, a ruse which um, abolishes the dependencies, the affiliations, the conjunctions and conjunctions, a ruse which um, is a, an, an orderly list which distributes the control and relief functions of collective uh, laughing and foils them instead of conjunction and conjuncture, conjunctive. The uh, mode of possibility of a contemporary dance and performance theory as well, which does not take itself that seriously. Performative, um, contemporary, performative humor focuses uh, the um, calculated neglecting of time, the bad timing, the rapid stagnation of punch lines, the doubt, the language, the body, the desperation of the body with regard to language. If body and language are upended, talk at cross purposes and walk past one another. This is, is kind of an idiorhythmic quake of levels. As such, the laughter addresses the vibrating aesthetic intervals and the fault lines between the parallel worlds which we, strange people, uh, belong to in a strange way, just as strange as a juxtaposed instead of regulative classification of animals by Jorge Luis Borges of Michel Foucault in his Order of Things. This is quoted, contemporary uh, dance um, uh, uh, deals with uh, things and animals currently. So let us uh, think about this uh, very um, problematic group of dance animals and theories. Let us imagine them simply, although it is not easy or simple. Let us think about it in an alphabetic uh, order, according to a list of Borgers. A, uh, animals belonging to the emperor. B, uh, embalmed animals. C, tamed ones. D, suckling pigs. E, sirens. F, mythical creatures. G, uh, stray dogs. H, uh, belonging to this group. I, uh, which behave like this, uh, like mad ones. J, um, uh, that can't be counted, um, uh, M, that look like a water jug, uh, N, that look like flies from far away, etc. In this animalistic contemporaneity of chaos, um, the uh, uh, funny, uh, the humor is short circuit, uh, and there are witless theories of belonging in a community. And this holds up something in the dry theories, and it is stuck in your throat. Uh, laughter is a chaos of articulation, is what Walter Benjamin said. And this is so befitting for a time, this chaos of articulation, the ambiguous and very uh, clear gestures of humor disarticulate our dance stories and let uh, the dry academic options tremble. This famous trembling of the upper lip uh, can be found in Kleist's gradual production of thoughts while speaking, uh, and according to Kleist, it could have triggered the French Revolution. Kleist, quote, maybe um, it was the trembling of an upper lip or an ambiguous game at the cuff which um, triggered the revolution of things in France, unquote. So once again, this revolution of uh, things, of the order of things and of time differently. The strange thing about history, according to Marx, not according to the Marx brothers, uh, this history happens twice, once as a tragedy and once as a farce. Hence, and um, previously, this uh, quotation by uh, José Luis Borges, a uh, quotation as laugh lines or fault lines. Our uh, stepping traces are in short, a quotation in which our funny or strangely intertwined parallel and verticals tremble and annul each other in spite of all the thinking and credibility oppositions. And it's kind of a, a kind of a levé de conflit. So the neighbor of the astrophysician Niels Bohr hangs a horseshoe above his door as a talisman, and when being asked whether he really believed in it, he answered, of course not. But it is said that it would help and that it is working even if you do not believe in it. Well, thank God, the dog days are over is ironically proclaimed in 2014 by the title of Jan Martin's choreography which in his marathon of jumping 
questions are group behavior. It takes 17 minutes. The uh, bodies are jumping for 17 minutes, and they are incarnate metronomes, which here try to actively resist the mania of spectacular tackle by this extreme uh, action of repetition of faint time spirituality by exhaustion in fi the finest hours of pointlessness. A choreography, according to Martin's quote, about the raging chaos which makes us become raging by an increasingly artificially artificial life. So where is the small line between art and entertainment? Is contemporary dance a striptease for the upper classes? This is what the choreographer said. The uh, poet uh, Anne Cotton, which performed a lecture two weeks ago here, calls the form the striptease of action. This up endings are interesting, I think, and intense. Tense. The past, the present, and the future walked into a bar. It was tense. This is what I read just recently somewhere. So to come to the end of my presentation, what does the critical potential of a tension of several time layers consist of in contemporary dance? Kind of a reenactment, uh, for instance. So how does this format uh, create another history of dance, another dance of history, just like with the reconstruction as a tension between foreignness and singularity and work uh, uh, artistically and theoretically without, however, lapsing into a linear historism, which uh, sees as history as generally being available instead of again and again a reappropriation against, against the fur, again, again, again and against. Reenactment opens the possibility of a subsequent redefinition and measurement, also an impudent one, kind of a reanimation replay of time itself. My own contemporary is time, is what Nietzsche said. Questions about rewriting and rereading history in and as a performance after the shock of the original in the vibrating train of its reconstruction, which also uh, withdraws it from the authoritarian contour, make this jump towards the original, but also uh, within the original, and this makes it visible. They do not only open the possibility of subsequent analysis, but also open up the perspective of a reassessment, well, a subversion of tradition itself. It is only uh, if uh, dance science leaves through its archives from the perspective of the presence Will it may have made its historic obje objective visible? Walter Benjamin has said that uh, what happened as history can only be articulated if this appears what incessantly seemed to be possible. History is a disturbance, just like the midges in summertime, is what Heiner Müller uh, said in his eerie and restive Eratum of History. So dance reenactment uh, offers possibilities to think history non-deterministically, non-linearly, non-homogeneously, possibility of dance histories, to think them in a singular plurality. What remains is the non-shown, the performative residue uh, or absence as an agent of the historically possible of the potential one, two, one, two, two, as an agent of the historically buried and sacrificed. Contemporaneity takes place if it does not find a place. Rastelli could hide things in the air, is what Benjamin writes about the m magician who was able to hide things at the most visible place. Presence takes place when it doesn't, between not yet and no longer, as uh, something newly absent. It makes us miss and uh, measure things in the deferred action, this after uh, a mode in which each event will have been one, an event that can have uh, taken place only in our uncertainty whether it was one at all. but. How can you then assume responsibility for this? For what 
is already there, although we cannot see it yet. This is what the uh, performance artist Rabin Moreau from Lebanon asked. Contemporary dance and performance is not characterized by a presence taken together by causality and calculation. It is rather a metaphysics of presence which uh, questions uh, this, what you call zeitgeist, just like the critical gaps of the invisible um, uh, people from Palestine with their cameras in Archaeus' choreography archive in his reenactment once, twice, again, again. A presence which uh, can be archived as a, a rehearsal, as a problem, as a vacant, and can be activated as such. Performance is this vacant place, is what Rue writes, because absence is a promise of coming back, he says, as it empties out. So once again, the uh, a bit louder time diagnosis by Efter van Dinter. So how come together that poorly? The good news, however, is, according to Jan Ritzma, the artist community will be that big and mobile in the future that the artists will be able to live at mutual cost with the money that will be circulating between them. This is what the... Um, founder of Puff says, so another project uh, in its sign of its own interminability, just like contemporaneity itself. How did you come together? By boat. No numerous clauses for those arriving. At the very end, once again, this trembling of the upper lip during the National Assembly in Paris in 1789, which, according to Kleist, could have triggered the French Revolution. Kleist's dancing ironic uh, gestures and gestures story upsets history because, according to Jean-Luc Nassi, the event is that what makes date, date, datum in Latin, the given, because no date is given already. If the event has been given a date already, it will no longer be uh, uh, an event because it commem commemorates itself. So the 17th uh, of June 1789 in Paris in the National Assembly or the uh, 17th of June 1953 in Berlin, the workers' uprising, are like this. Uh, in the moment they take place, they are not the 17th of June yet. They invent their date, unquote. So today, actually, it's not the 17th of June. Problem. One, two, one, two, two. Thank you very much for your patience.